So see if you can find one of those cicadas, and if you find one, point to it and let us know. These preschoolers at the Cora Hartshorn Arboretum in Short Hills, New Jersey, right here? are getting their first glimpse at one of the marvels of nature. I see a lot of holes. Oh, you found one. They're disgusting. Like clockwork, the cicadas, who belong to what scientists call brood two, are digging their way out. So this is a cicada hole, and there is a cicada nymph. John Cooley is a researcher at the University of Connecticut. He has studied the life cycle of cicadas for 20 years. So they synchronize their development, they have these long life cycles, and when they come out, they come out in massive numbers. What is triggering that? Well, they are counting the seasons because they're down underground feeding on the roots and they're counting the number of times that it leaves out. And then when you get to the right spring, they're monitoring soil temperatures and when it hits that 64 or so degrees Fahrenheit, out they come. The eastern United States is the only place in the world where the 17-year cicada cycle occurs. An estimated one million cicadas per acre will blanket the region from North Carolina to Connecticut. Within days of emerging, the cicada nymph sheds its skin and molts into an adult. Before dying, the rest of its four to six week life is devoted to finding a mate and making babies. Which is where all the racket comes in. A chorus of males singing to attract females can reach 90 decibels, as loud as a lawnmower. That's due to their hollow abdomens that amplify the cicada's love songs. So the male is calling a little down slur. And then about a third of a second after he starts that down slur, the female clicks her wings, just like that. It's a little quiet sound and a little movement. In a couple of months, the buzzing will be gone. And the next time these little ones hear it, they'll be 20-somethings. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Short Hills, New Jersey.